what happens if you receive a PDF file and you know it has to be compliant to the PDFX1A or PDFX4 standard, but you don't really know whether it is? Is there a way to verify that files are compliant? And if they are not, is there a magical way to convert them to those ISO standards? And does that work with any type of PDF file? Let's start with how you can check whether a PDF file conforms to the standard. And luckily, in PDF Toolbox, that is very easy to do. For the file I have open here, I wouldn't even have to really check because there is no PDFX1A badge at the bottom. If this file were compliant with an ISO standard, there would be a visual indication of which standard it claims compliancy with. But to know for sure, we need a preflight profile. And preflight profiles live in the profiles window, which I can get to through tools and then profiles, or by pressing Command 3 on Mac, Control 3 on Windows. And in that profiles window, I see all profiles in my active library. This particular library has no profiles, but if I go to the library pull down, and I look in the list of libraries that I have in here, all of the ISO profiles live in the PDF standards library. Remark that your list of libraries might look slightly different, but the PDF standards library should be there because that is one of the default libraries installed when you install PDF Toolbox. So let's select that one. And in that library, you should see a PDFX item. Perhaps that group could be closed and you might have to twirl it down to see the list of preflight profiles in that group. As you can see, there are two types of profiles in this group. The first one, verify compliance with, and then the name of an ISO standard. And the second type starts with convert to, and then the name of the ISO standard. So if we want to know whether this file is compliant with PDFX1A, for example, all we have to do is select the verify compliance with PDFX1A profile, and then click the analyze button to run it. And after running it, PDF Toolbox comes back with a list of what was wrong in this particular document, and it shows me what exactly went wrong with a red cross in front of each of these items and a red cross at the top of the window to indicate that this file is not compliant with the standard checked by this particular profile. So now we know for sure that this file is not compliant. How do we fix this? Well, I can go back and then I have my list of profiles again. And now instead of a verification profile, I'm going to use a conversion profile. And there are different versions of these profiles. Each one has the name of a different ICC profile in it. So I'm going to select one that comes closest to what I am doing. And then instead of clicking Analyze, I'm going to click Analyze and Fix. The difference is that using Analyze, you only run the preflight checks in that profile. So you will never modify the document. If I run Analyze and Fix, I also run the corrections in that profile. And when I click this, PDF Toolbox will ask me for a location to save this file, because now it is potentially modifying the document. And I can select the folder I want this to go to. I can change the name if I want to, and then PDF Toolbox will apply all of the corrections that are necessary. That's what you see here in this list. And then at the bottom, I can see no problems found. And at the top of the window, I now don't have a red cross, but I have a green check mark. So this file is now compliant to PDFX1A. And for further evidence, we can look at the bottom and see that this is now a PDFX1A badged file. Converting to a PDFX4 file would be exactly the same. But can I take this file that is now already a PDFX1A file and convert that one to PDFX4? Can you convert between PDFX standards? Well, the answer is yes. 
And the way to do it is exactly the same as what we did before. So I can go look for a conversion profile with a particular color profile in there and then say analyze and fix. And maybe I call this PDFX4. And when I save it now, PDF Toolbox runs some additional fix-ups as is necessary by this new standard that we're using. And it converts the file to PDFX4 with the appropriate badge at the bottom of the document. Will this always work? Well, it actually might not. And the reason it might not work is because different PDF files might have different problems. And in these profiles that you see, some of these problems are fixed, typically the problems that are not very dangerous to fix, and others might not be fixed. So to convert those files to PDFX1A or PDFX4, you might have to add additional corrections to that preflight profile before it will be able to fix everything. You can read more about preflight and preflight profiles and how you can modify them on the PDF Toolbox manual site at help.calasoftware.com.